I am Anil Kumar. We are reviewing trigonometric ratios. Here is an excellent question which will help you to understand how to find the angle given the ratios, the trigonometric ratios. The question is determine angles which are between 0 to 360 degrees for each of the following. First one is sine theta equals to minus square root 3 over 2. The second one is cos theta equals to minus square root 2 over i like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, for such questions, you need two things. First thing is the cost rule, right? So, so that's why I'm making this. And second thing you need is your special triangle, correct? So, in this particular case, we are looking for a special triangle, which has square root 3, 1, and 2 as your sides. And as you remember, that triangle is 30, 60, 90. Here, we are looking for... 45 degrees, correct? So that is our 45 degrees. Let me now write down the sides and then we will answer the question. So if it is 60 degrees, we have sides 1, 2, square root 3. We know that is 90. This is 45 degrees, right? 1, 1. Now, since we are talking about square root 2, I will take the sides as square root 2, square root 2, and 2. Perfect. So that is how you should begin. Now, we have to see in which quadrant the angle lies. Angles within 0 to 360. Remember that. Sine theta equals to negative value. So, apply the cost rule, right? Cost rule is like this, right? Okay. Oh, sorry. Cost rule. All are positive in quadrant 1, sine in 2, tan in 3, and cosine in 4. All students take calculus, all silver teacup, or the cost rule. Okay, that's great. Now, sine is negative. Sine negative means we are either in quadrant 3 or quadrant 4. Cosine is negative means you are in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. You are getting the point, right? Now, now what? Okay, now what we need to figure out is the angle itself. We are now looking into acute angle beta right so look for acute angle square root 3 over 2 for sine that means opposite side this is opposite over hypotenuse okay so from theta opposite side is opposite angle to square root 360 so the answer is 60 degrees okay so in these two triangles we have to make 60 degrees I mean this angle has to be 60 degrees Do you get the point now, the answer always is, is the principal angle. So, the principal angle is 180 plus 60 and 360 minus 60. So, we get angle theta as equals to 180 degrees plus 60 degrees. That is one answer, which is 240 degrees. And the other one is theta equals to, so we have two angles, right? 360 degrees minus 60 degrees, principal angle will be 300 degrees. So these are the two possible answers for part A. Likewise, we are going to do part B, right? So you can still pause the video, answer the question, then look into my suggestion. Now 45 degrees is the acute angle. We say beta is 45 degrees, right? So, so, the, so the answer here is this much. This is theta 1. And then we have that much. So in this case, theta 1 is, since this is 45, theta will be 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. And the other angle has to be 180 degrees plus 45 degrees. You get the point, correct? That is how you should be answering this question, right? So when you take away 45 from 180 degrees, how much do you get? 135 degrees, correct? And when you add 45, you get 4 plus 5 is 2, 225 degrees. So these are the two solutions for the second part. I'd like you to go through this video. It gives you the basic concept of solving trigonometric equations. And I hope that helps you. Thank you and all the best.